Welcome back. Hey, thanks. It's my first day back after maternity leave, and I miss Cece, of course, but we need the money. I'd like to believe that you used your maternity leave wisely, nursing your infant, exposing it to the natural world, but I suspect you squandered it on your hobby of watercolor painting. I did do some painting, yes. Oh, there's so much beauty in this fence. Oh, what can this windowsill tell me about life? Oh, garbage. I think you should only be able to paint the president, or in a perfect world, the Kaiser. I was just wondering what you had planned for Secretary's Day. I'm going to give Aaron $15. Is that like a tip? That's weird. No, 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 because that's what I always used to do with Pam. See, Pam decided that she would rather have the cash value of her half of lunch were I to take her out. So she promises every year to take that money, go to Cooper's, and buy herself a Sunday. Yeah, I can't believe that worked. Sunday, that was awesome. Pam's kind of a artsy loner type. Mm. I know that Aaron would be so psyched if you took her out to lunch. A one-on-one -on -one lunch with Aaron? Yeah, she really looks up to you. And there's only so much we can do as her coworkers. Secretary's Day is really kind of a boss secretary thing. She's kind of a rube. It's my girlfriend you're talking about. Okay, all right, all right, okay, I'll take her to lunch. She's gonna be so psyched. Hey, Aaron. Happy Secretary's Day. Well, happy boss's day. There wouldn't be a secretary if there was no boss. I wanted to know what your plans for lunch were because I was hoping to ask you to lunch. I got a picture of you asking me to lunch. I have been looking forward to one-on-one -on -one time with Michael so much. I can't think of anyone that I admire as much as him. He's even better than Sully Sullenberger because Michael would have told us funny jokes as he was landing the plane in that river. Be careful as you exit the plane. Swim to the left or you'll end up in New Jersey. <laughs> well, I can't do it as good as Michael. Would you mind if I listen to my book on tape? Kind of a bookworm. This is a novelization of the movie Precious based on the book Push by Sapphire. I was thinking it would be fun to talk on the way over. So, What decade would you have chosen to be a teenager? I don't know. I would have chosen the 1490s because America was discovered. Right. And then my last job was at a Taco Bell Express, but then it became a full Taco Bell, and I don't know, I, I couldn't keep up. You know what? I saw a stack of the penny saver in front. I think I might go check out what's going oh, on. My favorite part about being a receptionist is that I get to have my own desk. Mm -hmm. In my foster home, I never had a desk, so it's like a... I, I don't mean that I didn't like my foster home. I, I did like it. I just didn't have a desk there. Did you have a favorite age or month? An age or month? Yeah, like a favorite month. Like I, like April when I was seven. I've been trying. I've been trying to keep it going. Aaron is just weird. How many pillows do you sleep on at night? So, how was lunch? Lunch was fine. Was it everything that you hoped and dreamed it might be? I don't know. It was lunch, Andy. Well, I know. I, so I'm just want, I mean. <laughs> Aaron, I think we're out of facts coverage. God, this. Oscar, will you keep your pants on? It's easy. Who doesn't tell their girlfriend that they were engaged to someone who works four feet away from them? That's like, that's, that's like Mr. and Mrs. Smith crap. I was gonna tell her just on my own time. You know what? I resent the implication that I would keep that secret. Everyone here knows that I can't and won't keep a secret. Who cares? I mean, it's not like I killed somebody. Big deal, right? This is gonna blow over in two seconds. She never asked me, so if you think about it, it's kind of, I probably should have told her, I guess. Everybody does stupid things. Hey, kiddo. How you holding up? Not great, Ryan. Not great. You know what's great about you? 
A lot of girls would have just run out when they heard that news and hooked up in some cheap bar with the first random guy who bought him a drink. I'm not gonna do that. Because where's the tenderness in some hookup with some random dude you're never gonna see again? Look, Kelly is your best friend. Kelly is my girlfriend. I think I speak for both of us when I say we both want you to be happy. You guys are such good friends. The odds are always best for a three-way if one of the parties is extremely emotional or impulsive. You look so good right now. What? Oh, Aaron, I am so sorry. Yeah, hey girl. We're here for you, okay? Yeah.